Greetings to everyone. Uh, this is Tenjain Dub. I just wanted today to share a little uh, tip uh, regarding the Alborosi Dub Station VST that came a few months ago. And I'll be using Ableton Live 10 and a Launch Control XL from uh, Novation. So basically the concept is just to use that, same if there was an hardware like this uh, or like this, you know, but use that uh, with the controller. So what I will do uh, for the people who are familiarized with Ableton Live 10, so you will go uh, in your section over there on the right uh, where you've got your reverb and delay already. So there you click right and you say insert a return track. So that will allow you to have a third, uh, basically, uh, channel and this third channel basically when you plug the nova station launch control and use it uh, as a factory default so basically you go all your your stems like same as a normal mixer you know that's the mute button um you know but that's that's another topic uh thanks to uh, jedi element because he's the one who actually uh, done a lot of uh, uh review on those and a lot of uh, tutorials and i got that from him but anyways the same concept as a um, as a as a mixer over there and then you got your effect uh one fx2 and the channel third one we just created so there we will use it as a channel three uh to assimilate that you just basically go to uh, midi on ableton live uh you put your cursor of your mouse on frequency and you will move the knob where you want the things to be assimilated so i wanted to have it here so i'm just gonna assimilate it here and click MIDI over there. And if you look at your frequency button and move the knob on your controller, there you should have the frequency moving. Um, so that's basically all set up like if I was in the studio playing with that, but just on my MIDI controller. So I, I'm using Innovation uh, Launch Control, but I'm sure you can do that in the Akai one as well. I, I believe the concept stay the same. Uh, and now if I, for example, want to assimilate all the other channel over there. So I'll do the same concept. I click MIDI and I go uh, where I want the channel to be assimilated and I just move the knob and boom, that be, that be automatically assimilated to the thing. So if I run a quick loop, no. Uh, so I've done a quick loop, there we go. That's my third effect. I put everything at zero, so I'm going to put a bit of reverb on the snare, because I got my snare there, the other instrument that I add. Now I want that to sound a bit more puppy style, so there we go, got my frequency over there moving. the hardware basically like the west finger one so now you can do the same concept with the delay so i put the delay and i switch it on i've got my uh fit time i can play with it Anyway, you, you get the concept of just using basically that as a hardware. It can be the same uh, for the keys. You know, you can put that on the keys and have that. So there we go, that's how so to use the Alberosi Dub Station uh, basically as a hardware with a launch controller. 
if you got any question uh just drop me a message or drop me a comment and, I, and i'll try to guide you through if you struggle uh but i think like yeah that's basically a, a good plugin you know for the price when you think about hardware gears can cost quite a lot uh for the price of that you get yeah a nice echo and you can like uh, almost control it